Doc, we're almost uh, we're almost done. We've got 12 tunes. This is Doc Goes Hollywood. We've uh, finished doing some strings. We've done the rhythm section. We're going to be doing the the rest of the orchestra. French horns, I bet. French horns. Um, it's been it's been a terrific process, and uh, I've enjoyed every minute of it. I'm, I think the tunes are unique, and that's one of the real strengths of what the album will be and what the CD will be. I think is a really unique approach, your vision to how to do the American Songbook? Well, I tell you what, I am just thrilled because uh, I've had these songs for a long, long time, and uh, or some of them. Uh, Bill and I wrote two, and uh, actually three, if, mm -hmm. if you count the bridge, two mm -hmm. toast for Huey, and then um, I Love You and God Bless is our first, mm -hmm. and A Very Special Night. But other than those, those, some of those songs have been around a long, long time, and it's just, I used to wonder when would they get out? You know, is it just cornball stuff? You know, melody seems to be uh, underappreciated throughout my career sometimes. You know, it's, it's harder to get those ballads going with Tower of Power than it is the, uh, the you know, the funky things, the, the fast tunes. And then uh, when, uh, when I met Bill at Panavision, of all places, at a school function where our kids used to go to, uh, Sierra Canyon School, and we met at a Sierra Canyon parent function mm -hmm. at Panavision, and, and then uh, I found out that he orchestrated Contact and Forrest Gump, uh, two of the greatest uh, arranging jobs I ever heard. My dog Skip, not only did he orchestrate that, but he wrote that beautiful music for that. You know, and I just said, boy, wouldn't it be great if some of my ballads got to be arranged by Bill. You know, and we, we uh, would see, that was a few years before we actually got started on, on the project, but Fawn and I worked up my nerve to ask him if we could uh, check some stuff out. And, and uh, uh, we're both pretty busy, he does a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm on the road with Tower of Power a lot. And, uh, um, we, you know, we found a time, it was around uh, 2004. And, yeah. and we started writing uh, I Love You and God Bless and then got the, a very special night, and then I started uh, bringing my old tunes to him. And, um, and you know, one by one, it was me on my little electronic keyboard with the single finger bass, croaking out, the story must be told, singing, uh, what difference does it make? You know, I mean, I could hear the beauty in it, but, and, Thank goodness Bill could too, you know, but I'm sure it took him well, a little long. Not only could I hear the beauty, I have to I have to interrupt you because having Doc ask me to work with him, obviously I, like everybody else on the planet Earth, I was a huge Tower of Power fan, but this was a whole different side because when he said I have some songs, I just kind of assumed it was going to be, you know, T.O.P. like, but he brought over this thing and it's a completely different angle to what Doc does and that fascinated me to see this other side and there's other sides because I've heard other things he's written that fascinate me equally well and and I'm hoping that we can continue doing things but uh, so that was a big treat for me to hear a different approach to hear a different side of what Doc does with Tower of Power this this kind of American songbook thing that he's interested in so it was a real treat and an honor to me, have me uh, be involved I really appreciate it no, I, I mean it's a mutual admiration society here because uh, the arrangements are brilliant just oh, brilliant and uh, um, I hope that uh, we have tens if not hundreds of songs written let's do it and arranged and whatever at least written before it's all over and thank you so much That's for everything 12 out of the way First yeah 12. yeah and by the way I must say that there's this other stroking project called uh, Bumped Up to First Class, which is uh, R&B, you know, classic tower R&B. And my favorite song on there is called When Will Colin Powell Write His Tell All Book, which is uh, just the kind of, I guess you'd call it semi-cornball R&B. But, but the guys, what they did... Politically correct. Yeah, uh, Mike Finnegan co-produced that session. He's a, he's a wonderful keyboard player, singer, and an old dear, dear friend. And he made it sound New Orleans-esque, yeah. which I thought was very cool because it's basically a bashing the war policy kind of song, but in a tongue-in-cheek way. But having a Katrina vibe on it just made that song really come alive. And that is Bill and my first R&B song, and it's, it's probably the highlight of that uh, CD. Great.
Great. All right. 